Hello, this is Dan Nobles for InfiniteOasis.com and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to create a spaceship, alien craft, UFO, whatever you want to call it. And I'm using the View 6 Extreme. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead and get started. And we just want to do a new atmosphere. And for this I'm going to select the orbit atmosphere found under the effects. This will just give us a good base start out with uh, a sky that has stars in it and a nice uh, sun type star up in the right hand corner. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to change this ground a little bit. So I'm going to choose the ground and I'm going to change the material of the ground. And I'm going to go to liquids and for this I'm going to choose the distant water. And we can preview that. So next what we're going to do is we're just going to go over to our primitives here and create a sphere. Move this out a little bit. Okay, so we have our sphere there, and I'm going to create another sphere, and I'm going to move this out exactly to where the other one is at, except a little bit lower, and I'm going to move it up just a little bit here. So the top of it is making an indention in the, uh, the top one there, and I'm going to select the first one, and then the second one. And I'm going to come over here to the left, and I'm going to do a Boolean difference. And if we preview this, then you can see that it's taken out the bottom part of that sphere. And this is just to get a kind of a alien craft kind of look to it. And if you want, you can also select your difference now and just kind of... Uh, change the size of it a little bit depending on how you want it to look and while I got selected I'm going to change the material of it and for this I'm going to go to the special effects under buildings and choose the building lights too and so now if we preview it it looks kinda like that which is already looking kinda interesting so from there, I kind of don't like this blue background as the star field. I like a nice dark star field. So I'm going to go to the atmosphere editor and change the color of the haze, which is really what's causing that uh, color back there right now. And uh, I'm going to choose black. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, that, that looks more like what I'm after. I don't like, however, the, uh, the horizon haze there. So we can fix that. Uh, let's make it like a dark blue or something. Might be a good color for it. So I changed the wrong one there. Let's go to we want the haze that we're changing. Okay, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit, still a little bit too much, but it, you can go through and tweak that. And also what I want to do is I uh, kind of want to see the, the underneath of the craft. And we can take that and just uh, rotate it just slightly. So we're seeing a little bit of that there. Now we're going to to kind of improvise on the craft a little bit by giving it some other shapes. So I'm going to choose the uh, cube and I'm going to size this out. We want to make it really thin and then we want to move it in the 
this center. And I probably should have done this before I tilted it, but that's okay. And actually, I'm going to make four of these, but uh, you could uh, use the duplicate tool to duplicate these all around the craft. But since I only need four of them, I'm just going to do a control C copy, control V paste. And I'm going to rotate it 